After facing backlash, the Dr. Seuss Enterprises has announced it will stop publishing six of its classic books due to racist and insensitive images. CBS 2's Rachel Kim has more on the controversy surrounding those children's books. It's work how I hate it. His books have been translated into many languages and are sold in more than 100 countries. Books by Dr. Seuss are still read and adored by millions, even after the author and illustrator's passing in 1991. Miss Bobble teaches listening. But fast forward to 2021. After increasing criticism in recent years over the way blacks, Asians, and others are drawn in the books, today, an announcement that six Dr. Seuss books will no longer be published because of racist and insensitive imagery. I think so. This is a good idea. I think it's wrong. You know, it's the sign of the times, right? And to think that I saw it on Mulberry Street is the most popular of the six that will no longer be published. The announcement comes on Read Across America Day, which was deliberately aligned with the birthday of Theodore Seuss Geisel, better known as Dr. Seuss. Dr. Seuss Enterprises said they worked with a panel of experts, including educators, and reviewed all of their books. They said they made the decision to stop publishing and licensing the six because they portray people in ways that are hurtful and wrong. That includes describing people who, quote, wear their eyes at a slant and drawing barefooted African men wearing grass skirts. Their statement says in part, ceasing sales of these books is only part of our commitment and our broader plan to ensure Dr. Seuss Enterprises catalog represents and supports all communities and families. These are the most impressionable readers. These are the things that are emblazoned on your mind from when you are really young. Dr. Michelle Martin is a professor of children's literature at the University of Washington. If the, all the images that you see either don't look like you or that have derogatory images of people who look like you, you get the perspective that you don't really matter or that your people are ugly or that they are not smart. The parents we spoke with in Santa Clarita had mixed opinions. My kids love them and I don't think there's anything wrong with them. I think there's so many good lessons in the books that teach diversity as it is. I don't know why they're thinking it's um, being a negative on diversity. If it's offensive to someone, uh, you always want to consider that, right? So if other folks are letting you know that that's offensive to them, I think it's, it's a good thing. Rachel Kim, CBS 2 News.